Tron, take out that payphone. We must leave nothing to chance, Rex ordered. Rex knew that it was unlikely anyone would call the cops from this phone. However, in theory, someone could use the phone to report them walking with their weapons toward the wolf's lair, and thus have the cops show up even before the battle began. Rex had this possibility eliminated immediately. Tron emerged from the vehicle and promptly grabbed his wire cutters from his black jacket pocket. It was a small task to cut through the metal cord attaching the receiver to the base, and with a quick snap, the payphone was disabled. At that moment, Cat and the troops in her grandmother's car began to emerge, with Stegus the first out of the vehicle. In fact, Stegus was known for leaping out of the vehicle before it even came to a complete stop. Stegus saw what Tron was doing and was quick to make fun of the situation. Hey, look, y'all, a cordless phone! <laughs> he said, now grabbing the phone receiver and passing it to Smog in a jocular manner. Who you gonna call? He added, referring to that now infamous song that was ridiculously overplayed on the radio in 1984. Smog held the phone to her ear for a second before replying. I ain't calling no Ghostbusters, boy. Smog said sarcastically as she simply threw the receiver down to the snow-covered ground. I ain't afraid of no wolf. Tara added with a giddy smile and a dance to music that only she could hear.